you know, these corporations that are pouring millions and millions of dollars into Black Lives Matter, and you're correct, they said, we raised more than $90 million. How much more, we will never know. But $90 million, of which $21 million apparently went to, according to Black Lives Matter themselves, it went to um, building the black movement. Like, I don't even know what that means. It, it, $25 million going to building a black movement. With Russia's war on Ukraine, disinformation campaigns are doing their thing. And where there's disinformation, you can bet there's one Candace Owens. <sighs> Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Conservative chaos starter Candace Owens has been trending today on social media for this tweet, which reads, Absolutely appalling the way Russians are being treated in America and abroad. That our leaders and government institutions are allowing for, and at times calling for, this discrimination following their global Black Lives Matter hysteria is quite telling. Russian Lives Matter. Indeed, the person who reportedly called Black Lives Matter a terrorist organization seems to be co-opting the social justice movement and moniker to advance Russia. Of course, Russia didn't ignore this opportunity. No. Not a chance. The Russian embassy in the United States retweeted Owens's tweet, amplifying the Russian Lives Matter phrase and the accompanying Russian disinformation campaign that Vladimir Putin must be loving. It's interesting how Owens manages to side with a nation that's all about disinformation and egregious war crimes. Oh, but wait. Of all the people that Republicans could have selected, they picked Candace Owens. I don't know Miss Owens. I'm not going to characterize her. I'm going to let her own words do the talking. I agree. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned um, by uh, leaders that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside. Of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German. Yeah, as much as Owens may have tried to distance herself from those comments in support of Hitler, while her desire to exploit her blackness in service of Russia as it unnecessarily and cruelly attacks Ukraine is rather shameful. And social media agreed. Uncovering the Truth tweeted, Why did Kansas Owens call Black Lives Matter a terrorist organization, but then say that Russian Lives Matter? A full-blown Russian asset. Political satirist Jeremy Newberger tweeted, fresh off saying, send American troops to Canada to deal with the tyrannical reign of Justin Trudeau. Candace Owens is now leading the Russian Lives Matter movement as Russia invades Ukraine. What's more, she is a headliner at MAGA events with Trump family members. The U.S. singers who stand with Ukraine tweeted, just remember, folks, fascism, Nazis, genocide, ethnic cleansing, bigotry, racism, and thermonuclear war aren't deal breakers for Candace Owens. Candace Owens has proven time and time again that she's here for whatever will advance the white supremacy grift. So I am not shocked at all. I just very much hope that the people in Ukraine stay safe and continue to fight this war to the best of their abilities and have all the support that they need. Let us know in the comments below how you feel about Owen's most recent grift on behalf of Putin and friends. And definitely hit that like and follow button. Thanks for watching.